After a long year of planning, filming, and editing, Marywood alumni Luz Cabrales and the Scranton Films celebrated a special moment together as they finally released their first feature film, Nick and Ophelia, on November 2nd. The Scranton Films is premiering its first feature film here at the Marketplace at Steamtown, and it looks like there's going to be a full house. The Scranton community grabbed food from nearby vendors along with snacks and refreshments that were donated by local businesses. They even got to get their pictures taken before the film started. Luz Cabrales is the producer, director, and editor of Nick and Ophelia and the founder of Scranton Films. She talked about how the group wants to bring film back to Scranton and how their film was made with the help of many contributors and local businesses. Scranton Films, we're a group of filmmakers in the area that are trying to bring films back to Scranton. Uh, basically, anything from cr any creative work, sort of w whether it's a television show, a web series, uh, any sort of installation, kind of like bring everything together so we can grow the community at the same time that we're building, you know, our own film industry rather than going to New York or LA or even Atlanta. It means a lot to me because it is not only my first feature film, but it's my first collaboration with many, many artists and businesses. Anything that you see in this film, uh, we didn't pay for. Everything was donated. Everything was a contribution from the community. Tony Susie, assistant director of the film, gave insight to what Nick and Ophelia is about. It's, uh, it's about Nick, who is uh, the main uh, protagonist in it, and he meets Ophelia, the love of his life, but then something goes terribly wrong and he loses her. So it, he has to uh, do a ritual to bring her back, uh, and the whole thing is basically, what would you do with a second chance? What would you do if you lost the one person who you thought made your life uh, whole? So it uh, has that kind of romance horror twist to it. Scranton Films is in the process of planning another future project and plans to submit it to the NEPA Film Festival. For TVM News, I'm Jenny Nguyen.